In this After Effects video, we're gonna be able to create awesome title sequences with a plugin called Plexus. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. We're doing something a little bit different today. We're gonna to be creating a title sequence using a third party plugin called Pluxus, which is something we normally don't use on the channel. We don't use a lot of third party plugins, but from time to time, I like to show the specific uses for different types of plugins out there. So we're gonna create this awesome title sequence very quickly. Let's go ahead and let's get started. And of course, if you don't have Plexus, there's a free trial. I'll drop a link in the video description so you can follow along with this video. Alrighty, here we are inside of After Effects and this is what we'll be creating right here. So let's jump over to our new composition and just start off, I just have a background with a gradient ramp in here. But to get started with Plexus, what we need to do is go to Layer, New, Solid, and we can name it Plexus. And click on Make Comp Size, click OK. And then from the effects and presets, you're going to want to bring in Pluxus right here, bring it into your solid. And here is the effect with three different layers, depending on what version of Pluxus you may have. You might have an extension window here, but we have it here as an effect. So what we're going to do first off is there's three menus here. We're going to click on add geometry and we're going to add a primitives. Then we'll go to effector and we're going to add noise. And then we're going to, go to add renderer and we're going to add lines. And once again, just recap that add geometry for primitives add effector noise add renderer lines all right and for now we can close this up and we'll go to our first menu which is plexus primitives object and from here we'll open up the cube menu and we'll increase the cube width by a little bit sometimes you might want to go all the way across your composition but from here we'll go to cube width to about a thousand and the cube height to about a thousand as well and we'll come back to this menu in a few moments but we'll close it up so now let's come here to the plexus noise effector and let's increase the noise amplitude and you'll see now we're gonna start getting those classic lines and dots like that as we increase this up to about 1300. And actually, since we're here, let's add a keyframe for noise amplitude and let's move forward in time to the end of our composition, maybe six seconds. And we can just animate the noise amplitude. So now there will be some movement here with our you know lines and dots. So from here, we can close up the noise effector. That's good for now. Let's open up the points renderer and this is obviously the dots. We can increase the point size. You can see how we get the dots nice and large. I'm gonna keep it around three or so. And then I'm gonna uncheck get opacity from vertices. And from here I can increase the points opacity to 100. And then I can also uncheck get color from vertices. And you get this color tab. We can click on it and we can select our color. So maybe I'll do like orange and we'll click okay. And that's essentially the points. And now we can do plexus lines renderer. Maximum distance, you can increase this and you see more lines and you can decrease it. I'm actually gonna keep it around 80 or so. And you'll see kind of what happens in a second, but we'll uncheck get colors from vertices and we'll select the orange again. So this will be within our color palette. And you can also increase the line thickness if you want. I'm gonna just keep it that as default settings. And then we'll close this one up. Now, of course, if you wanna create a very similar title sequence like this and you don't have the plugin Plexus or even the time to create this, go ahead and check our links in the video description on the preview you're seeing right now are After Effects templates from VideoHive, meaning that these are pre-made project files where you can drag and drop your text and logos and render out your entire project within a few minutes. So if you're in the need to save time and you need to produce high quality results, go ahead and check our links in the video description and you can preview hundreds of After Effects templates like these. So right now we are set up for success. This is a very easy thing to do, but we want to make this a lot better. And there's also more settings I want to take a look at in Pluxus, but I want to get to the next step. So come here to the Pluxus primitive objects and we can go to transform and we can increase the center Z or decrease it, excuse me, to kind of come towards us a little bit. So boom, you know, maybe we'll get this nice and close to us just so we can see all the details of each of these you know, objects here. And now the lines are obviously are more in our face. And then I wanna go back into the cube settings here and I'm gonna add a keyframe for cube height and move forward to you know end of our animation, which will be six seconds. And I'm going to just animate up the cube height for a little bit. This will add another layer of just animation to this. And if we need to go back to the transform tab, go to center X, Y, and we can bring this up so we can get like maybe the bulk of our you know, data here. And that looks good. What I like to do here is maybe go back into our Pluxus toolkit. I want to do two things here. I want to go to add effector and I want to add the spherical field. And then I want to go to add renderer and I want to add facets, facets. I'm not going to pronounce that correctly. So just add that one. <laughs> and as you can see, we get some nice, you know, shapes in there between, you know, the geometry and we can check the get colors from vertices. And we can of course do like a nice orange again, and we can uncheck the opacity and lower the opacity on this. So 
you know you can of course increase the maximum distance to control how much of this you want you know i might just set this up to like 120 or so now i'm gonna go to the spherical field that we added and i'm gonna come here to the field sphere radius and i'm going to just increase this until you know our objects kind of come towards us a little bit and also create just a little bit of unique animation here and plus we can also keyframe it if you want so we'll do that and we can have it bounce back in there you know just add a little bit of extra separate you know animation in there and now we're ready to move on to the best part of this effect which is the depth of field so go to the actual effect at the bottom here called plexus where's this depth of field you'll just need to turn that on to camera settings and then we're done with plexus we'll close that up then we'll go up to layer new camera and click ok and from here we'll open up camera one we'll come here to camera options we'll turn on the depth of field and boom depth of field there so let's come here to the beginning of our timeline and set the focus distance down to about 1000 and we might just need to scrub through this to see what the best distance is so maybe like 1300 is good maybe we'll actually have it out of focus so we'll keep it around 1200 set a keyframe for focus distance let's move to the end of our animation so like six seconds and then let's increase the focus distance so we can have like a nice rack focus and now as you can see we have a very nice out of focus feel with our geometry and it looks really good and if you need to you can increase the aperture which will make things a little bit more blurry and more focused so we can maybe set the aperture down to 50 or up to 50 excuse me now i quickly just added a title with the animation preset evaporate but i really want to move quicker here so i'm going to, go to effect stylize glow and we'll come here to color a you know select that nice orange there kind of glow our, our title and we can go to original colors, go to A and B colors, go to color looping and set it to sawtooth B greater than A and then increase the glow radius and the intensity and then maybe even lower the threshold by a little bit. So now we have a nice little glow effect to this and then we can copy the glow and maybe paste it onto our Pluxus layer and I'll make things glow a lot better and looks really nice. And then we'll do one last thing I like to do is go to layer, new adjustment layer and then we'll come here to effect distort and we're going to add optics compensation go to the beginning of our timeline set the field of view up to about 30 and check on reverse lens distortion add a keyframe for field of view go to end of our animation and then increase the field of view to about 80 and then make sure to turn on motion blur for all your layers turn on the top and when it's all said and done now we have our nice pluxus scene mostly focused on the effect itself because this is primarily a plugin tutorial and if you need extra help with titles because we didn't really focus so much on this one go ahead and check our links in the video description we've done tons of title tutorials on this channel so go ahead and check those out so that wraps up our tutorial using pluxus hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to subscribe to our youtube channel we post two post-production tutorials every week right here on the channel also hit me up on my social media networks those links are in the video description and always be creating